at the Alamo. Look what I got. Isn't that cute? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a day trip to San Antonio. So you guys know I hit the road to see Ari Lennox because she was sold out in Houston. I stopped to get some curry before I actually like hit the road <laughs> because I was hungry. And then, you know, I got there, checked into my Airbnb. Look how pretty it is. So gorgeous. And then I think that's the shot. Was that bleach? Oh. There we go. Okay, Dr. Teals. I wore this little outfit to the concert, and y'all listen to how good she did. The next day I got out of bed, actually I didn't, I stayed in bed for as long as I could because my checkout time was at 12, but I headed to the Pearl for some breakfast. So funny story, you guys know I do like yoga with Black Swan when they do their free yoga at the post, right? So I met this girl from San Antonio one day and I was like, oh, I'm going there in a couple of weeks. Do you recommend that I go anywhere? And she was like, oh, go to the Pearl. They have great eats, girl. Why did you tell me that tale? Now, the food was good, but it wasn't like what she hyped it up to be. I found this little pastry place and I grabbed like brunch there. It was really, really cute. Like I probably should have got a pastry, but I was so hungry. Like I got food. <laughs> but girl, she, she overhyped it for sure. It was, this is the interior what it looked like. They had a little coffee water stand. They put a little heart in my cappuccino. And the French toast was delicious. The eggs, not so much. <laughs> Don't recommend. After that, I headed to the bookstore that was right next door called Twig. I saw these really, really cute coasters. <laughs> this is so true. Look what I got. Isn't that cute? So here's my thing. If you're planning a little like getaway to San Antonio, I would make the Pearl a stop if they have an event going on. So check to see if they have any events and then make that a stop if they do. I feel like the setting is very serene, very nice. Like you'll enjoy it in that case. But other than that, you know, there wasn't really much to see or do. I also did a little shopping because I had my cruise coming up, so I wanted to see what they had. <laughs> so cute. After I did a little shopping, I bought a cute pair of shorts, just very casual. Um, I went to the Alamo. This is their price list. I opted for the audio tour, which was $9. You got a phone and a map. There's the map. And you did like a self-guided tour. So, yo, it was a little uncomfortable if I do say so myself. Like, you'll see. Look, 
look, you had to hold it like it was a cell phone and literally trying to vlog and record. I mean, trying to vlog and listen was, it was a bit difficult. So I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked, but this is kind of what it looks like when you are doing your self-guided tour. And they, they probably need to up the tech. It look, it's, a, it's a bit outdated. Also, y'all, tell me why I was standing at this door waiting for them to open on their own because I thought they were automatic, right? No. I'm standing there looking crazy. This family walks up and just walks on in. I said, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> so this is like a camp area um, and a garden. The garden was put in, I think, some years afterwards. And this is like the exhibit that goes into full detail about the battle and a story, the Alamo, a story bigger than Texas. Remember, remember y'all and look at these knives. I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot imagine being stabbed by this. Look at that. Look at how long that is. And then, you know, I found the one black person in uh, the exhibit. There she goes about 2,000 slaves it was a very somber like experience as it should be because it's where like several people died after that I went to Planet Fitness <laughs> it's not funny I'm sorry I got a workout in took a shower changed and then I headed to the river walk I wanted to eat at Rita's but it was so the wait was long and they didn't have a very diverse menu so I went to um so I went to this other place and I should have just stayed at Rita's. This is the view. Isn't that your party? Casa Rio. They gave me I ordered they give me chips and salsa, but I ordered a skinny margarita. And the food was as good as it looks. I'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. And then I saw these cute little boats. I wish I could have done one, but it was so cold. It was so cold when I went. Like, it, the, the video doesn't do it justice. There were little shops where you could get some souvenirs. And there was a man doing portraits. So I was like, the souvenir I'm going to get is a portrait of myself. <laughs> he let me record him. Shout out to him. He did a really good job, y'all. Y'all ready to see? Look! <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> then that was it. I went to Bucky's, got some gas, and headed on back to Houston. The next day, I woke up and went to Papacitos because I was like, I want some real shrimp fajitas. See you next time.